Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. It's Christmas Eve if you're watching this on upload day, which is so exciting. I can't believe it actually. You know, it's kind of crazy to think because I'm pre-filming this video for my maternity leave and by the time it goes up, I will be a mom. <laughs> right? I hope, oh my gosh. Hopefully she doesn't come that late. But that's just crazy for me to think. So I'm in a festive mood. And you know, usually I try to steer clear from the classic red lip when it comes to a holiday look, but I can't this year. I have something in my mind for what I feel like will be a perfect holiday look. I'm almost going a little bit more glam and vampy than I have in the past couple of years. So I'm really, really excited, but it's gonna be a very simple look. You can recreate this with whatever you have, but I'm just so excited, so let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with this right here. This is the Natasha Denona Hygen Skin Glass Energizing Hydrating Primer Serum. This just is like the holidays in a bottle, I feel like, for your skin. It has the most beautiful golden like sheen to it. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. So we're just gonna put some on the sides of the face and I'm just gonna use my fingers actually for this just to really massage it into the skin. I love that this gives like a glass skin effect. It has such a unique texture. It's one of my favorite priming products. And look how healthy my skin looks. We're off to a good start. I hope you guys are having an amazing holiday wherever you are. I hope you're resting and relaxing. I hope I'm sort of resting and relaxing now that I think of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so crazy to think. But also like I'm really looking forward to spending the holidays with a newborn baby. Like, are you kidding? That sounds divine. I'm gonna go into my ambient Soft Glow Foundation from Hourglass. Again, I really want this to be kind of like a little bit more glam than what I have been doing the past couple of years. Well, every holiday tutorial is glam, but I'm just not being shy this year. <laughs> so we're gonna have more of an airbrushed complexion. We're not gonna be shy with the lip color either, and I'm actually so excited about it. I'm just gonna apply this all over. I wanna hear about some of your holiday traditions. What do you guys do if you celebrate Christmas or any holiday around this time of year? I wanna hear about your favorite traditions with your family. And I would also love any holiday movie recommendations because I'm always in the mood for a good Christmas movie. I'll tell you what my husband and I do. I feel like I've said this before in past holiday makeup tutorials, but usually on Christmas Eve, my husband and I watch The Holiday. That is like my favorite Christmas movie ever. I love it so much. And we make fettuccine because they eat fettuccine in the movie. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I don't know. So I'm hoping to carry on that tradition this year, but honestly, I'm open-minded, you know? <laughs> I'm just looking forward to taking it easy and slowing down this holiday as we adjust to being parents and everything like that. So, you know, now that I think of it, I guess we could always like order takeout, you know, even if it's not on Christmas Eve specifically, if I don't feel like cooking anything, we could order in and then watch the holiday. Oh, I'm giving myself so many good ideas already. All right, I'm gonna use my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum in the shade light. We're gonna use this to just brighten up the under eye area. It's actually so fun. This year, my husband and I, um, usually we're with our families, but this year we're gonna stay in because at this moment in time, I have no idea when our baby will be born. So she could come really close to Christmas. So we didn't make any holiday plans with anybody. We we're just really slowing down this year, which means that we usually get matching Christmas pajamas with our families, except this year we bought ourselves them. It was so cute to receive our pajamas in the mail because we had two adult sizes and then like a newborn onesie. Are you kidding me? I'm thrilled, I cannot wait. It's just becoming more and more real. I'm so excited. All right, now I'm gonna sculpt the face with this Hollywood Contour Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade um, Fair to Medium. I'm just kind of drawing on the face all over the areas that I want to be a little bit more defined. We're gonna go in here too a little bit. I <laughs> look crazy right now. We gotta just trust the process, okay? I'm gonna take my hourglass brush and just start blending this all out. And anything that goes up toward the hairline, I'm gonna really kind of press into the hairline itself. That way there's no like harsh line between my hairline and my contour. So everything looks like more natural and there's no like starting and stopping point. And I'm just blending out this nose contour into the crease of my eye a little bit. Okay, after that, I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and go over the nose so it's not too harsh and then blend that over the edges of the rest of the contour to make sure it's super, super blended. 
Now we're gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder, one of my favorites. I'm gonna use the shade Sugar Cookie, which is the lighter shade. I also use Cupcake quite a bit, you guys know. But this one is a little bit more brightening and I just want my complexion to look super airbrushed. So I'm actually gonna take this on the Beauty Blender Puff. I love this thing. And I'm gonna press this into the under eye area to really smooth and brighten things. And then I'm gonna kind of roll it into the skin to set everything in place. I'm gonna go around the mouth and on the chin as well with the puff. And then also I'm gonna take this on the forehead and into the brows a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more powder on a brush. And I'm not gonna worry about using the puff for the outer portions of the face, but I still want to set it since I'm gonna go in with a powder bronzer. So I'm just gonna kind of press that in to set everything. We're gonna keep sculpting the face with the Haley's Beauty Resculpt um, Smoothing Contour Powder in the shade Light. I'm just gonna apply that right on top of wherever I put the Charlotte Tilbury contour. So that way we get a little extra sculpt and definition. I'm gonna take that along the jawline and down the neck as well. And then I'm gonna go back over that with whatever's left on the powder brush just to blend that out once more. Once more, <laughs> why did I say it like that? It's like, a, it sounded very old fashioned of me. <laughs> to blend it out again. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fill my brows. I'm just gonna use my handy Anastasia Brow Wiz. Oh, I think this is the wrong one. Yeah, here it is. I want this one. This is the shade Ash Brown. So I'm just gonna quickly fill in the brows and then we will go to eyes. I'm really excited about the eye look. It's so easy. Okay, before we get into the fun part of the eye look, I wanna create a little bit of structure around the eyes. So I'm just gonna take that same Haley's Beauty powder. I'm just gonna run that through the crease of the eye to create a little bit of soft definition before we move into a sparkly shadow. I'm just using that same brush and the same bronzer and kind of lightly sculpting out the lower lash line as well. All right, I really, really, really wanted to use one of Lisa Eldridge's um, liquid eyeshadows. These are called the Liquid Lyrics eyeshadows. They're absolutely incredible. I'm beyond obsessed with them. And I felt like Emily was gonna be the perfect match for my eye look. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna go directly onto the eyelid close to the lash line to right about there. And then I'm gonna work with a brush and just go straight in and start sweeping this up and out all over the eyes. When you start blending this out, you will see like the gorgeous glitter reflex that it has in the formula. It's so easy to apply, so foolproof. Just like a one and done shadow. Ugh, oh, I love this stuff so much. We're gonna do the same thing to the other eye. And I'm just gonna make sure to kind of feather this out toward the end of the brow. I'm taking what's left on the brush and kind of pressing it up toward the brow as well. Just so there's a really nice gradient of glitter. And I'm also gonna apply a little bit of this along the lower lash line, just a tiny bit, right here and right here. And then I'm going to blend that out with a brush as well. Just the same one that I used on the top lid, just for a little hint of glimmer on the lower lash line too. I love this stuff. The eye look is gonna be so simple because the lip color is what's really gonna stand out. So I wanted to use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, a classic, a favorite. This one is iconic. And I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that to the top and bottom lashes. I do wanna have pretty bold lashes, even though it's a simple eye look. So I'm gonna really take my time here, just layering this up until I get really intense volume. I just love combining a more bold lash with a bold lip. It's one of my favorite combos, I guess you could say. Okay, we are now actually gonna apply highlighter. We're gonna hop around a little bit. I wanted to use this right here. This just felt like a holiday highlighter to me. This is the Anastasia Iced Out Highlighter. Really love this one. And it just gives the most beautiful golden glow, which who doesn't want that? Ooh, look how pretty that is. So I'm just applying that to the high points of the face, a little down the center of the nose. We're gonna do a bit on the cupid's bow as well. And then while I have this, I do wanna apply it actually to the inner corner of the eye. I'm actually gonna really layer it up in the inner corner. I'm just really liking how that looks. And I'm gonna take what's left and apply it to the highest point of the brow. All right, now I'm gonna wipe off any foundation that we got on the lips. And I grabbed two lip liners. I'm not sure which one I wanna use. I think I might use this one. The other one is just like almost too deep to where it's harder to create a precise line. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Savage Rose. 
I just really want to create a good solid lip line before going in with the liquid lip that I'm gonna use. And even though this isn't the exact color as the lip stick that I'm gonna use, I still wanna fill in the lips just so I get a really good idea of my overall lip shape. Okay, the lines are not perfect, but we're gonna come back to them in a second. So here's the lip color that inspired the whole look, honestly. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Vinyl Ink in the shade Royal. It's like a really beautiful deep red. I'm gonna give it a shake. I just am obsessed with this formula, especially for like special occasions. It just doesn't move. So I'm just gonna apply this. I'm just taking my time building up this color. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get for now. I'm gonna let it set for about like 20 to 30 seconds. The thing I love about these though, is it kind of leaves a shiny finish, but these don't move. So once they're set, they're set really. Unless you eat something super oily, then it will kind of break down. But other than that, you don't have to worry about it like moving, which is so nice. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I guess while we wait, we can apply blush because I wanted to apply blush last since I wasn't sure how much I would need. I'm gonna take my Hourglass blush in the shade Mood Exposure. It's just a really nice mauve. It kind of has a little sheen to it. I'm just gonna start popping this on the cheeks. And I'm adding a little bit more than what I normally would. Sometimes with a deeper lip color, in order for things to balance well, I feel like I need a little more blush. So that's why it's always nice to do your lip color first if you know you're gonna be wearing something bold, and then the blush second so that you can really balance things out. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand with a concealer brush. I'm gonna really work that into the brush. This is where we're gonna get really picky and precise about the lip lines. Now, I'm not the best at like perfect, perfect lip lines, but I do like to really try with a red lip. I'm just taking the pencil and kind of tracing around any areas that I think need a little more precision. Okay, now we're going to step back and assess the situation. I'm gonna take a little more of the Haley's contour powder and go into the hairline a bit more up here. I really like where we're at with the blush as well and the highlight, I think everything else looks really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and set the face with the MAC Fix Plus Stay Over Setting Spray. I'm just gonna give the face a really good spritz with this. Even though we did an airbrush look, I want it to look fresh. So we did a little more setting spray than usual so that all the powders really melt into the skin. I'm just gonna let that dry almost all the way. And then this is where I'm gonna take my sponge and just press the setting spray into the skin. And that's gonna bring out the glow of the highlighter, it's gonna press in the powders and just make everything look really, really nice. I'm gonna take my puff and repress over this area here and also like right here in the chin. Since I don't want shine there, I want glow everywhere else but not there. And then I want really like feathery brows. So I'm gonna go into the Patrick Ta um, Brow Lamination Gel. A little goes a long way with this stuff but I'm gonna really just work it through the brows so that we get a nice feathered effect. All right, I'm gonna just take my hair down. I'm taking what's left on the highlight brush and adding just a little bit more. Just want a bit more glow on the cheeks. To finish off this look, I actually wanted to spray this perfume. This is from Ellis Brooklyn. It's called Apre and it's like the perfect winter scent. It almost smells like a Christmas tree, but in like a luxurious way. Boop. Just a little bit for me, you know, so I don't overdo it. I think it smells so good. I think it smells like such a holiday fragrance. All right, you guys, so that completes this makeup look. I feel like it's the perfect holiday look. This is something that's so timeless. This is something that would flatter absolutely everyone. I know this red is a little bit deeper than some of the other reds out there, but that's why I like it and that's why I chose it. I think it's very, very holiday-y. So <laughs> I'm actually thrilled to be wearing it with a full look because it's been a long time since I've worn this color and I just think it looks so pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and I hope it inspires you if you're doing your makeup this holiday season. So tag me if you end up recreating this look in any way. I would absolutely love to see your recreations. I hope you have an amazing holiday or Christmas with your family and friends. I hope you all stay safe and healthy. I'm feeling so festive. This is making me so excited for Christmas. I truly hope you guys love this look as much as I do. All the products will be linked and listed in the description box down below. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you.